Well, we are talking about widespread storms heading into North Georgia at this hour. We're joined by First Alert meteorologist Cutter Martin now with a little bit on the timing of all this. Yeah, we're kind of at the early uh, end of things, the beginning of things, I should say. Rain and storms developing now, and, and it's going to be one of those tricky days, much like yesterday. You know, I was in Ponce Highland, and I got a little bit of rain, but nothing like what the north side, nothing like what southern and southeastern Cobb County got. First Alert weather day, heavy rain and storms in the forecast. All the more reason because of kind of the sporadic nature of the really heavy rain. All the more reason to keep a closer eye on the uh, first alert forecast excuse me, as we go deeper into the afternoon and the evening. First alert radar right now. Inside the metro, we're pretty quiet. Tiny little shower trying to get into Mechanicsville and downtown Atlanta, literally just a neighborhood wide or so. The biggest storm that we're tracking with heavy rain now moving up through Thompson County. It's a strong storm currently, though, below severe limits, though, like yesterday, one or two may approach severe limits, and we will be watching these storms, especially south of I-20, uh, pretty closely. Let's put a tracker on this for you. Generally moving very quickly off to the north and to the east. Bowling broke by 338. It will be pouring for South Georgia. The rain will increase again 338 345 or so very quickly from just sprinkles to heavy rain with this particular downpour and there are more rain and storms in the first alert forecast hour by hour for you. I think the early commuters driest around I 285 uh, by dinner time 6 7 p.m. First alert rain becomes more widespread and that risk of heavy rain lingers through 9 p.m. By midnight we're going to start to bring down that rain chance still they'll be alert to the possibility of some lingering high water spots where maybe some road flooding occurs. The wee hours of tomorrow morning, though, uh, we are going to more significantly drop that chance of showers and thunderstorms out the door in the morning. Temperatures upper 60s, lower 70s. That's right about where we were this morning. And also like this morning, there probably will be some areas of fog and at least some spotty rain showers tomorrow. You're low in Carrollton 70, 72, 72 Covington, 73 down in Thomaston, and we will repeat the same process as we get into tomorrow morning commute forecast. Rain will be light spotty, not a first alert for the morning commute, but do keep an eye on it. It's a yellow light. You can wake up with the morning team, see where the fog and these spotty showers are occurring starting at 430 in the morning. You can stream the newscast in the first alert weather app. As far as the time to be alert to heavier rain, more impactful showers and thunderstorms. Really, it's lunchtime into early afternoon through mid afternoon on into early evening, six, seven o'clock in the evening, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms once again in the forecast. And some of that rain will be heavy enough to produce some street and some road flooding. Here we are hour by hour, kind of expanding beyond Atlanta. Notice noon tomorrow fairly quiet 4 p.m. models consistent with a band of hefty thunderstorms rolling in. So for your Thursday afternoon and evening plans, keep an eye on the forecast as these storms will once again move in from the west. Travel to the East Clark and Oconee County still storming 7 to 8 o'clock in the evening. High temperatures tomorrow a little cooler mid 80s, upper 70s in LJ 71 in Helen. So temperature wise not too bad. We're going to bring down the rain chance and increase your temperatures Friday, Saturday, upper 80s. I think pick day for the weekend is Saturday. Scattered showers and storms likely once again. Again, Sunday on into next Monday and Tuesday. All that